I was going to start by asking about the stretch of games you guys have coming up. It's kind of similar to the first week of January in that you got five games in nine days. It's a little more time than you had the first time around. But what are some things you guys maybe learned from that first stretch that'll help you when you do this kind of again? Well, you know, I think it's tough to, you know, we played pretty good in three other four games. And obviously the game against Union, we didn't play very well. But, you know, the thing that's key for us is we got uh, some of the top teams in the league. Three out of the top four are going to be in here uh, um, and then obviously St. Lawrence is playing much better and Brown's a <clears throat> very competitive team. So for us, it's keeping the shift short, uh, maybe getting some guys that haven't been in the lineup in the lineup. Uh, um, but we got to, you know, we got to get things turned around. And I think it's doing the little things well. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll get some of our injured guys back here in the next week or two. But, uh, you know, it's a frustrating time, but I don't think anybody's uh, given up. We, we still think we can get it turned around. And, um, you know, it's a fine line between winning and losing. So for us, it's just trying to do the little things uh, well. And uh, obviously, we got to do a better job of putting the puck away. Every, obviously, every one of the games will be important. But Friday's game seems kind of big because you're two points ahead of Brown for, for home ice. And, you know, if you get a four-point cushion, that would help, I think, with that stretch of games. And you guys kind of see this as like an early playoff type game in a way because of just you know wanting to get that cushion on that spot or yeah there's no question I mean uh, you, there's no getting around that I mean mm -hmm. uh, right now every game for us is a playoff game and I think having home ice um, you know we haven't been great at home this year but it's still an important thing to get mm -hmm. to, to strive for and you know you not only get the uh, the two points but you're also uh, got the tiebreaker now if it becomes mm -hmm. a tie because you beat them head to head twice and conversely for them uh, you know it puts you uh, tied and now the, now it's 1-1 one, one and it mm -hmm. goes to a tiebreaker if it ends up. So, yeah, it, it's a key game, as is the St. Lawrence game uh, at St. Lawrence. But whether it's against St. Lawrence, Brown, Yale, it doesn't matter. Every every point's so important. So uh, we got to just try and, uh, you know, I think for us right now it's confidence uh, and get that winning feeling back. And, you know, we're going to we're gonna obviously be shorthanded, so we got to – we got to make sure we're tightening things up defensively and do a better job in the offensive end. Yeah, I did also want to kind of get, give people an injury update as far as I could. Do you know if anybody might be back this week that was missing last week? Well, right now I don't. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Mark uh, Borovacsky is uh, for sure out this weekend and, and yeah. probably Tuesday it looks like. Uh, uh, Pokes, we should know more today. Mm -hmm. um, whether or not he uh, will be ready for the weekend is probably doubtful. Uh, Benny definitely will not be playing this weekend. Uh, we're hoping maybe next week uh, mm -hmm. a union RPI that he'll be healthy for. But, um, you know, it's it's unfortunate that it's hit uh, this time of year. Um, but uh, that's the way it goes. And uh, we got to deal with it, and we're not going to make excuses. And, but obviously, you know, we were hoping to have those all of them back uh, before the playoffs get here. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I was going to ask you a little bit about Jake Morley. Uh, his role's kind of changed, you know, over the years. This year he seems to be, you know, one of your top scorers, too, but he's always been a physical guy, too. What do, what do you kind of look for from Jake? Like, when he's playing his best, what does he give you guys? Well, I think the big thing is, like you said, his physicality. I yeah. think when Jake's uh, effective, he's uh, doing winning battles down low. He's very good in the defensive end. Um, you know whether it's killing penalties, he's been good on the power play in terms of uh, giving us a net front presence and winning battles down low. And uh, but to me, when he's at his best is when he's playing a you know a physical in your face uh, uh, game, and not too many guys are going to take the puck away from him. And you know he's gotten banged up here a little bit the last couple of weeks and is playing with some nagging injuries. And you know we giving him a couple of days off this week to hope him get him refreshed. And it's tough. It's a tough stretch in February. Uh, for any club because, you know, everybody's going to be dealing with injuries. But Jake plays so hard every night um, and, you know, block shots takes a lot of, you know, takes a lot for the team. And uh, I think the guys respect that. But he's been a, a great leader for us uh, both on and off the ice this year. And the only guess because everybody's role kind of changes when you go to different teams. Uh, you, was he that kind of player before you guys got him? Or did you just see that potential in him and talk to him early in his career and say we'd like you to be this kind of a player here? Well, or? I think, yeah, for us, I mean, he certainly improved in his skill uh, yeah. level and in his confidence. But I think for us, uh, that we saw him as a power forward. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what we recruited him for. That's what we thought he'd bring to the table. And he certainly... Um, in the three years so far, he, he's gotten better every year in that role. And, um, you know, we've moved him to center because he is such a good shutdown guy. And mm -hmm. not that he can't do things offensively because he can, but, you know, when we've matched him against other teams' top lines, uh, he's done a good job of uh, controlling guys and not getting allowing them on the score sheet. And, um, and, and, you know, obviously he's been given the opportunity to get on the power play and has done a very good job in those areas. So his game's, uh, you know, still growing. Um, he, he's still improving in, in a lot of areas. I think his offensive game can improve, but um, he does a lot of little things well, and the more you watch him, the more you, you respect what he does out there. Thanks, sir.